Well, as you saw moments ago, Eric Gordon is doing his part to keep the New Orleans Pelicans in their series. Gordon comes from a family of basketball players, but it all started with his father. We had the chance to catch up with the Gordons this past summer to find out more about their basketball story. Eric Gordon was a staple on the Liberty basketball team from 1982 to 1984, and he had hopes to one day play professionally. After a few unsuccessful tryouts, he realized his career was headed in a different direction, but his faith and passion for the game drove him to make a greater impact. Hey guys, ready to go? Could be eating lunch, but I'm going to have you guys for lunch. Not in his own life, but in the lives of his children. I said, God, when I have kids, if you help me uh, to teach them the things that I wasn't good at, if you help me to train and be a, a great dad, uh, to help my kids do the things that I couldn't do, I said, I'd be so pleased. Eric and his wife, Denise, have three sons, Eric Jr., Evan, and Aaron. And you guessed it, they've all found immense success in the game of basketball. You may have thought the name Eric Gordon sounded familiar, and that may be because Eric Jr. is now in the NBA and was a standout recruit from Indiana. I wanted to be an NBA player ever since I was I would say 10, you know, 10, I was very serious and committed and, uh, you know, I used to see vision myself to seeing if I could be an NBA player. Evan recently ended a successful basketball career at his brother's alma mater with a master's degree and a vision for owning his own sports agency. You know, you can't play basketball forever, but um, that's what made me, you know, venture off and want to do the sport agency thing because I can be a sport agent until I'm 80 and, you know, it's still revolves around basketball. Me not being blessed with being 6'4", like Eric, and being able to jump, you know, and touch the top of the backboard, like Aaron and Eric, you know, it's just, I was blessed to be able to, you know, stretch my mind and be creative with things, and so that's just kind of the route that I took. And the youngest, Aaron, is still in high school, but is considered one of the top national prospects in the class of 2016 has the dream and the potential to also make it to the NBA. It really hit me when I saw myself on the Draft Express uh, last year when there were only about uh, 10 other freshmen on there. You know, it, it, was, it really sparked my mind, you know, I have to really uh, keep working hard no matter what rankings or, you know, other people say. The Gordon brothers are undoubtedly a talented group, but they give credit to their dad for getting them to where they are now. He's basically uh, had all three of us and you know without him you know we probably you know wouldn't even be playing basketball so he's basically the, the big part so I have to give it all to him. Hey guys this is Evan Gordon and I am running Eric Gordon's basketball camp. He's been running it for six years. We're here now at the JCC where he's got about 50 kids in the camp. We're going to go right now and check out the drills in the main gym and see what's going on. The Gordon family also works to pass the success they've achieved in the game of basketball along to the youth in their home community. Well, the Gordons are like the poster family for the JCC, and all three of their boys basically grew up here. Eric Sr. has his basketball academy. Uh, we've got over, he has over 100 kids in that academy, which is fantastic. And he's been doing that now for a couple of years. We started the EJ uh, Summer Basketball Camp program several years ago, I think right after Eric went into, left IU and then went into the NBA. So that's been several years. And he comes back every summer, his, his brothers work with him, he brings other coaches. So, and we offer that camp, which is a sellout program, by the way, uh, several weeks during the summer months. And it all started as one dad's dream and a prayer. You've really, single-handedly built a Gordon legacy in terms of basketball and your place in the community. How do you feel that legacy could be defined? Um, I think uh, probably defined by a family that's put a lot of emphasis on being good citizens in the community, good Christian people, and uh, great athletics through supporting uh, their community. So I think um, when you think of Indianapolis, some people say, you know, you're the royalty of basketball, or they may say, you know, you're the first family. I just think of us as a family that I asked probably 27, 28 years ago, uh, God, just to give me the gifts to be able to help my kids succeed in basketball. And God gave me those gifts, and now I'm sharing that with uh, the community. 
A great story and great to see a dad passing on his passion to his kids.